Alex here from Oppos with a beautiful morning, beautiful day. It is hot. It is like 80 something degrees. So it's been a good change for us. But thank you guys. If you guys are new for the new to the page, thank you guys for watching. If you guys are you know following um, you know all my builds that we always post, thank you guys for continuing to support. Um, if you guys haven't liked to subscribe, make sure you guys subscribe to my videos on here. There's a lot of helpful content, a lot of stuff that we could do that we do that can help you guys in the future with hydraulic and air suspension. So with that being said, we just finished up this 1947. Um, this guy, man, we did a lot of work to this one. We did Mustang 2 front end, swap out, we converted the Mustang 2, we reinforced the Mustang 2, uh, we did hydraulic front suspension, hydraulic rear suspension, um, new brakes to the front, new power, new power rack, or manual rack, sorry, we did manual rack on this one. Uh, we also uh, did the disc brakes on here. In the rear, we did step notch, four link, uh, cut the sheet metal, redecked it, bead rolled, dimple dyed, um, the whole deck, you know, as far as the dimple dye and uh, sheet metal work and stuff. Uh, what else did we do here? We did four link step notch, if I didn't say that, I believe I said that already. And we did a two pump gravity fed system. And of course, we used nothing but the best. We used Optima batteries in this. We used a single uh, Group 27 uh, Optima yellow top for the starting and three of the yellow tops for the actual hydraulic system itself. So, what we'll do now is I'll just show you the car itself. You guys get a better understanding, a better idea of what it is that we did to it and um, you know how it looks and how it functions. So as you guys can see, we did a lot of work to this. In the rear, we did the most of the work. That's where you guys will see the hydraulic suspension set up. We did a two pump gravity fed in there, fully hard line with the optimum batteries encased inside of a steel kit cover. Um, everything does, a lot of guys will ask now, how do you get to the batteries, right? Well, it's simple. We actually did under here, there's actually remote charging ports to get to, to access the battery for the starting of the car and then it's actually the hydraulic ones on the other side. So we did that that way to make it a lot easier, focus here, focus, to make it a lot easier on charging the car, um, maintaining the car, and that way you don't have to rip out the setup every single time. You just gotta remove the two bolts right here in the front, remove the front cover, and you can charge your battery. So we actually dash, dash mounted the switches here, or technically dash mounted is what we would call it normally when it's under the dash, but as you can see it's actually underneath the radio. Uh, we did that that way, you know, the knees don't bump into it, nothing like that. Um, you got a basic, oh, let me scoot over here, you got front down, front up, back down, back up, and you got sides and sides here. Now you necessarily aren't going to use the sides too much here, um, mostly front and back in a car that lays this low, um, but let's just get this guy going here, let's fire it up. Starts up like nothing, and let's uh, take it around the parking lot. So nothing beats cruising a 47 in California when it's like 80 degrees. Cruise chill, 
Now, a lot of you guys might say it's not safe to drive, of course, with uh, one hand on the phone and the other hand on the steering wheel, but I've been trained professionally. No, not really, but I'm just being very careful. So I got a little traffic jam ahead of me. Braking, stopping, gassing is all good. We did need to drive line in this bad boy too uh, because we actually scooted the rear end slightly uh, back. That way we didn't have any issues with uh, the wheels coming forward and hitting the, the, um, the front of the fender wells. And normally the front of the fender wells aren't very straight anyways. So uh, what we did is scoot it back about a half an inch just to get the wheel centered up when you're driving. So that's why we changed the rear end. Uh, we actually swapped the rear end, drive line, all new brake lines, gas lines, step notch, four link. I mean, this one has the full nine yards, 10 yards, I guess. So there she sits, perfect. Gonna screenshot this guy. Boom, post it on IG. All right, guys, so there you guys have it. There's the 47 that we just did. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Now I know I'm gonna get the people that bitch and complain and sorry you two. I know I'm not supposed to say bitch on here, but I'm gonna get the people that bitch. I'm gonna talk the way I like to talk. I'm gonna talk to you know the way I am. Sorry, if this isn't your guys' style, simple. Go to the next video. If it is your style, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. You know, there's no need for negativity. We're not negative people here. We're always about positive energy. We are about the positive movement of low riding and here for the better part of low riding you know so thank you guys for liking thank you guys for subscribing and you know what let's let's do something here let's do something a little different that we normally don't do you know i see a lot of guys out there cruising the strip you know cruising the boulevard how about this you guys you know everyone talks about the the, the scene is dying you know and there's no one coming into it how about you guys take your kids out cruise if you guys already do that great for you you know that's perfect if you guys don't have kids you know Take someone out there that enjoys it, that doesn't have a low rider. Take them out with them, you know, with you guys. Cruise around, you know, enjoy it. Show them what it's all about, you know. Show them it's the family love, it's the atmosphere. It's just being around great people and building and having and cruising nice cars. So, thank you guys once again for watching. I appreciate everything. I appreciate all the support. Again, I'm Alex from Hoppos. You guys don't follow. Follow www.hoppos.online.com. Uh, 909-923-5553 is our phone number. If you guys need to get a hold of us, you guys can contact us on any type of social media, Instagram, Facebook is what we're most active on. YouTube, if you guys comment, most of the time I'm not going to get to it, honestly. You know, I try to my best, but, you know, most of the time it doesn't happen. Um, contact, contact us directly, 909-923-5553, Monday through Friday, 9 to 530 uh, Pacific Standard Time. So we are located here in Ontario, California. And again, thank you guys. Like, subscribe, and appreciate the love.